All right, day 64. 64 days in a row of walking at least one mile. I put on the uh, camera, we'll get going. Why are you doing, little duel? All right, Ranger's enjoying the sun today. Are you leaving? Yeah. Uh, you got to go to the post office. Uh, no, I'm going right now. Are you walking down there? Yeah. It's about a mile. Bye. I hear the postman right here. I just give it to him. And I don't have to walk down there. All right, let me start the timer. All right. I don't know. Do I want to walk down there or do I want to give it to him? I think I'm just going to walk down there and mail it. If I give it to the postman, it won't go out until tonight I put it today nice day to walk today nice and sunny put in your guesses how long it'll take how far I'll go gorgeous today little few clouds in the sky but over here is completely blue sky look at this Oof, beautiful blue all right how many dogs will we see? How many Teslas will we see? I say the over under of dogs at four and a half, over under Teslas at ten and a half. Mustangs and Camaros, uh, three and a half. Let's see, see if you're going to take the over under on all of that. All right. I don't know exactly how far the post office is. I think it's, I don't know if it's a mile. We'll find out. Uh, no cars coming. Maybe I can get across the street here. They'll be coming by the time I get across, probably. All right. Here comes a car. Better kick it up. All right, made it across, safe and sound. See what's going on down this street today. Always something interesting. <laughs> yesterday, I saw the two, two different videos yesterday. First video, I saw a 66 Chevy truck and a 57 Chevy Bel Air and a Goodyear blimp. In the spring and summer, I see that blimp quite often. It's the first time I've seen it on this channel. And then the second video, we went to uh, beautiful downtown Gardena. Picked up some Italian food at Giuliano's in Gardena. It's a post office there and established in 1939. It's an older city and a lot of the houses seem to be from the 30s. So that was definitely an interesting interesting part of the city that I've never shot a video in. I never really walked around before. I'd been there before, but I never walked around before. So check that out yesterday. Vastly different from Manhattan Beach, where on uh, what was it Saturday? Was it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. 
uh, watch that video. I did a tour. They had an open house of a seven bedroom, 12 and a half a million dollar house. That was pretty amazing. Check that out. If you really can see that beautiful views of the ocean, it was incredible. They said that, uh, here's the dogs. I don't know if the dogs are out today. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What are you guys doing today? How are you doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, Luna. How are you? <laughs> so funny. They always come over and nice, and then they want to bark. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are in and out, in and out. <laughs> Have a good week. Bye, buddy. It's funny, dogs come over and lick me and then he barks at me. Sometimes they bark while I talk to them. Army green. I don't know if I'll do one video or two videos. It depends on how far the post office is. We'll see. So that's two dogs. I haven't really seen any Teslas. We, I might have passed one if you they're counting. I haven't really been looking for them. I think this is one up here. This is not a Tesla. That's a Mercedes. A couple more dogs are already at four dogs. You see more dogs than Teslas today. Here's a boat. We saw a boat for sale on uh, say yesterday. I think I saw a boat for sale yesterday. That one does not appear to be for sale. It's a little half a Fiat, half a car. Seems super dangerous. Have you ever gotten a wreck? Here's the first Mustang. Mustang from the 80s. Yesterday in Gardena, I saw a Mustang look like from the 70s, but I don't know what year it was. It was down a driveway. You can see it very well. Let me know. I couldn't really tell. Hey, you see any delivery trucks today? Let's see, we've seen one. Well, the postman at my house, and then here comes a, another deliver, another postman. But I'm gonna walk to the post office. It's pretty warm today, but it's windy. It's about about 68, 69, maybe 70, but. I'm building a three on a lot there, I guess. That wind chill is probably 60. Two or three. Somebody sitting in their car. Always on a, somebody likes to, a lot of people like to sit in their car. I really don't know what the deal is with that, but it seems to be a trend since I've been walking. People like to sit in their car. Mostly read their phone, it appears. It'd be nice to turn around. This wind is a little cool. Always windier heading towards the ocean. Well, if you're playing along, write down how many days in a row you've walked what day this is for you. Five days, 10 days. You've done 30 days in a row. The 
street cleaner. Day 64 for me, 64 days in a row, at least one mile. See if the yellow lab is around today. I don't know his name, uh, maybe a girl. Sometimes he's out, sometimes he's not. I don't think he's out today. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing today? I don't think he's going to come over. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> he doesn't seem like he's that interested in coming over today. You want to play? Come on, buddy. Here he comes. What do you got? You got a football? Oh boy. Oh boy. Ready? You ready? Whoa, good one, buddy. What's a good boy, huh? What's a good boy? What are you doing? Well, there's another dog. I don't know if he's friendly. What do you got? What do you got, buddy? You ready? You ready? There you go. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, huh? Oh, you want to play too? <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are friendly. You got a bulldog? Oh, yeah. Just a good boy, huh? Just a good boy. Yeah, a bulldog, huh? You wanna play? <laughs> okay, buddy. See you around. <laughs> See you later, buddy. I never petted those two dogs before. They live right next to the yellow lab. They seemed like they wanted to play, but it was kind of a tough read. Well, that's how many? Five dogs already. Guess we got the over on the dogs. Uh, here's a Mustang, first Mustang of the trip, and a Ford. Seen this car before, Ranchero. He uses it for work, I guess. Ford Ranchero, I don't know what year. Let me know if you know what year. I think it's a, must be 60s, obviously. 63, 64, somewhere in that neighborhood. All right, so uh, post office is down this street. So I guess we'll just make one video. It's not going to be quite a mile away. And I'll check out the uh, car shop on the way back. With the uh, vintage American cars. They always have something interesting. I was down there last week and saw the 47 Lincoln Continental. And uh 65 mustang although they said it was a 64 and a half so they actually made some must there's a third mail truck they did actually i looked it up they actually made some mustangs in 1964 so they call them 64 and a half but officially i think they're all called 65s so was the official first year 65 Mustang. Never really anybody 
hardly ever hear anyone say I've got a 64 and a half Mustang. I was a 65, so I think in most car places when the new year comes out, it always comes out in the fall. And so like cars that come out this year, they call them 2025 models. Yeah, I think we've seen one Mustang and zero Teslas, which is highly unusual. I think I put it at 10. I'm sure you'll see some when I walk down the... Oh, there's an orange Tesla way up there. I'm not walking up there, though. See that? Kind of orangey or gold Tesla. Might be the first Tesla, but I'm not walking up there. I'm going to walk by this. Well, here's an old car up here. I think this is a uh, like a delivery vehicle for a, a guitar shop. It's up here. And that looks like it's from the 40s. Yeah, look at the little tail lights. Pretty sure that's from the 40s. Take a look at that. I don't know what kind of car. Chevrolet, I guess? I don't know. So we'll find out in just a second. Bootlegger guitar. There, get out of the street. Man. I don't know what kind of car that was. A Cadillac. That's a Cadillac. I don't know what year that is. Let me know if you know what year. Look at that. In the 40s, I think. Maybe the 50s. 50, oh, 54. Cadu, Cadillac. 54 Cadillac. Maybe it's some type of emergency vehicle or something. I don't know in the day. 54. Look at that thing. Wow, look at the grill on it. Man, you never see... A, I guess it's because of the tires, but no, it's a it's double, it's got like three rows of seats on it. Fifty-four. That's something. I can get across the street here. Oh, there's an old uh, 70s Cutlass over there. Across the street a little early. White. Sporty convertible. Not going to see it too well. It's an Oldsmobile Cutlass, I think. All right, here we are at the post office. And nobody in here. Quiet. All right, I like that. Put it in the mail. Here we go. Head back. I'd say that's about a 74 or 5. Oldsmobile Cutlass, I think. And I'm not going over there. To cross the street and cross back. If it were in pristine shape, I'd walk over there. I think it's a Cutlass, but I don't know. Talking skeleton, look at this guy. He's still decked out for St. Patrick's Day. He's talking or something. All right. Go up to the car shop and see what they got going today. Another Mustang. So two Mustangs, one Tesla, one orange Tesla that couldn't really see that well.
And that, what is that, 50? They say that license plate, 54 Cadillac? 54. There's the guitar shop that it services that bootlegger guitar. You can see it that well over there. Never been in there. Maybe I'll go in there one day. Not today. There's number two, black Tesla. Interesting stuff on this walk. Like five dogs, two that want to bark while you're petting. Yellow Lab. 50s Cadillac on big wheels. Seventy-four Cutlass. There's the other Tesla, another Tesla, three Teslas, two Mustang. That's a nice, nice looking dog. It's a lot warmer walking back now. No wind. <laughs> Look like a friendly dog. Yeah, we'll see what the car shop's got today. They always have something interesting. I walked by there on the other side of the street the other day and I had a glow-in-the-dark green I got a charger, I think. Somebody sitting in their car right there. People love to sit in their car. Home away from home, I guess. I don't know. And it's like to drive somewhere and sit in their car and read their phone. All right. Making a pretty good pace today. see any Teslas right here it's every bunch of cars there always seems to be at least one Tesla nope no Teslas like three Hyundai's or something Skyons people love the Hyundai's Honda's they all look the same there goes a first Ford Bronco I looked up a few days, several days ago, I read somewhere that the Mustang was one of the, was the best selling car in America for like seven, eight years in a row. I looked that up. That is not true. Not even in the top 10. There's a Tesla. What's that? Five? It's a red Tesla. One Mustang, two Mustangs. So I don't know. Yeah, Mustangs were not even in the top 10, so. I don't know where I saw that from. I had doubts when I said it, but it is not the best-selling car in America. Last year, a year before that, or in the past decade, it's always a Hyundai's, Hondas, Toyotas, but it dominated the top 10. I can't even tell them apart. I do recognize a Tesla, and I do recognize the Mustang and the Camaros. Some big red truck over there. It says war or something. It says war. I don't really, can't really tell. It says war on it. Yeah, you know, going in a smoke shop or something. Not too good if he's got war on his truck and he's going in to buy a smoke or something. Could be trouble. Stay away from him. Here's a tattoo place where people get tattoos on their head. I hear one going right now. Like somebody's getting one on their back. They already got one on their head. I don't know. People to get tattoos on their head and their face. And... Look at that 
face tattoo the rest of your life. I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Here comes another Tesla. What's that? Six? You might get to ten before you know it. You only saw one on the whole way out. A lot warmer walking back. Feels good. It's another Bronco. What color is that? Gray. Broncos are popular. Somebody else sitting in their car. They're drinking a Coda, Coke or something. They were talking on their phone, but it was wireless, so it's hands-free. At least they were hands-free. Give them credit for that. They were parked, so it didn't really matter. All right, there. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Yes, there's another Tesla. What's that, seven? I was walking yesterday in Gardena on the sidewalk. And some guy was riding his bicycle. I think he was advertising a Mexican restaurant or something. He had a big old boom box playing some type of uh, Spanish music and almost ran over. I had to jump up against the side of the building he did say thank you as he drove by but I mean, thank you for almost running over me or something he, right straight at me I had to, didn't even try to get over that was yesterday too that was in the second walk in beautiful downtown Gardena the post office from 1939 It's always something on these walks. Here comes the car shop. Let's see what they got today. They got something good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I don't seem they got much of nothing. They're kind of closed up. Got a, got a Mustang. What is that, a 60? I guess they don't work on Mondays or something. Hey, how you doing? I was just going to look at your Mustang. What year is that? 66 or something? No, that was, no it was lower. It's 70, 75 or something? 71 or 2. That's good looking. You guys always have uh, interesting interesting uh, vintage cars over here. Oops. I so here last week they had a 47 uh, Lincoln. Yeah, the yellow one. Yeah. Did you that work on that? Last week. Yeah. You Buy work? that one. Yeah, that one's been here for about a... About well, the guy four months, huh? Away. Oh, he did. Oh, I'm That's sorry to hear it. Storing it. Uh huh. Because he has sentimental values and. Oh. It's a good-looking car, though. I just. Yeah, it's, everything's brand new. Oh, it is. Ninety-eight percent of it. Just got a few things that got to be done, but the wife, she does it. They're trying to collect, get all the money. They've been making payments to me. Oh boy. Before you know it, it's going to be paying it more than it's worth. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean we're. Trying to get fourteen thousand for it, and he's got thirty-nine thousand in it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that, I didn't even know that. That's they... why whoever buys it, these all from the fuel tank, the fuel lines, the engine, the, the trend, these all brand new. Car wow! Wheels, everything's brand new. Tires. Everything, brakes, huh? Just got a few things: the AC and the lights. Yeah. The vacuum pods on the lights, but she can't spend money. Yeah. No, I understand. Were you, uh, were you guys closed today? Yeah. Oh, on Mondays? Yep. So uh, I had to go. I've been gone. I've been out, out of town. Uh huh. So I had to come down and drive this one for a long drive. And what year is this one? 70, 79. 79. 
about a pain in the butt for these older ones. Yeah. I you guys always you guys always have the great looking older cars here though. It's a good looking Mustang. Yeah, you had a 64 and a half here last week too. A maroon one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good looking car too. Yeah, it was here the same as a, the 47 Lincoln. That 47 Lincoln, I looked it up, I thought, it looked great looking car, but man, they don't sell for that much. I was surprised. Not that much. 30,000? Yeah. I was like, I figured it would be at least, you know, 80, 90. But I guess- it was uh, all original looking, you know? Oh, factory paint, it everything. All original. It's a good looking car, so, but it was, it built like a tank. Well, what but, starts happening is like this thing. Like, it's so difficult to get, not, not brakes and certain things. Yeah. But like, just a distributor took like a week and a half. <sighs> and then you got the first one, and then it ends up being a defect. Oh my gosh. And so then they had to wait, so. Well, you must be well known for everybody to want to bring their vintage cars yeah. over here. It's good, good, uh, well, good business. That sounds pretty, sounds pretty good. I just want to make sure, I, yeah, I don't want to be just well known for old cars though. No. <laughs> It's good to have a niche though, you know, people, people keep, you ever, you ever go over there on uh, Mary Ann where they, a uh, place called Fast Cars? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, they, they're known for all their Ferraris yeah. and they get people. And that's a whole other niche over there. That is. They said they ship them from all over the world. They do because they fabricate, make the metal, do fenders. See, we work on your everyday cars. Yeah. Then you have a customer, for instance, you, that's your S10. You got to do all that. But then you end up having, like, this one by here just got sold, and I wasn't here last week, but she thinks she's only want, she wants to have it all painted, all oh. of it running, and all perfect for 20 grand. That's oh, gonna happen. What is that, 65? I don't know, 65, 6. Yeah. Not, well, thanks for letting me look around. She's just looking at it, and you walk up to the motor and whatnot. Oh, man. She's gonna have 20, 25,000. Easy. Going from the, the, the city, the fighting, the training. First thing you gotta do is put a gas can on top of the engine, run it down, see if the engine runs. But everything on the engine needs to be replaced. Everything. If you didn't do the engine, from water pump, and then after you start driving, then all the seals start leaking in it. See, so you might as well pull the motor out and put a new one in. I tell you. Well, I appreciate you letting me look uh, around. You bet. You got it. Okay, thank you. That's the owner, I guess. Closed on Mondays. There goes another Camaro. It's a good-looking Camaro. All right. Well, that was a what was that? A '72 Mustang, bright blue. Brought the color back. That's what everybody wants now: is those bright, bright neon colors. Like here comes one that's pretty bright. But that was a nice-looking Mustang. '70, '73, '72, four, '72, three. See if I can get across the street here. Ugh. All right. All right. Made it through in my life. It's a little VW bug from the turn of the century. Well, I have to remember not to go by that garage on Mondays. They're closed. Probably I only saw the one Mustang. They probably had some other cars in the garages. All right, let's get across here. think what that color is a it's a, it's a mustang another mustang what color would that be like that sherbert uh raspberry sherbert 
colored Mustang uh, Jeep. about the fourth or fifth Mustang. I think we got the over on Mustangs, the over on uh, dogs. The, so far, I don't think we've seen 10 Teslas, so I missed some, which is possible. I think we've seen about seven or eight. Make the turn for home. And I have to remember not to go by that garage on Mondays. They're closed. They closed on Sundays and Mondays. Probably. I would imagine. And there's the mail truck still here. Man. Looked all the way to the post office, by the car shop, and back. And the postman hadn't even got off my street. I looked for him all week last week. I never saw him. Maybe he comes early now. 11 or 12. He used to not come till 3 or 4. 2, 3 or 4. And now he's here at lunchtime. He used to come early now. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him. No, that's somebody new. Maybe, maybe we got a new carrier or something. Maybe just a substitute. A normal carrier does seem to be off a lot. Uh-oh. A FedEx truck, I think we've only seen about three. No, we saw three mail trucks, one Amazon and one FedEx. Here's somebody that got a ticket. Street cleaning day. He didn't move it in time. How much those are? Probably like 80 bucks or something. And the van is already back. Boy, that van's there 24 7. Only for about three hours on a Monday does it ever move. Loves to park there all day, every day, 24 7, 365. Right outside my window. Rose is going to be blooming soon. We already got a couple blooming. All right. Gonna do a little bit more. If you guessed. One point seven. One point seven six in thirty seven minutes and nineteen seconds. You are the winner. A little bit longer walk today. I had to go to the post office. All right, let's see what Ranger's up to. He's sleeping up on the chair. What are you doing up there, buddy? It's your favorite spot, huh? Coming over to say hello. Sun's kind of in and out, huh? What are you doing? Yeah? You meowing? Getting some sun? It's sunny today? All right, that's it. If you like the video, subscribe, come back again tomorrow. We always got something interesting. I put a video that you'll like as a recommendation. If you want to check out the, I almost got ran over by a bicycle yesterday or the Goodyear blimp or downtown Gardena. Two videos yesterday, it's a red letter day. All right, that's it. Come back tomorrow, bye.